watching Let's Chat. An organization that I have personally worked with very closely through the years is Waiting to Hear, and I'm so excited that there's an event in this area for all of you to learn what Waiting to Hear is all about. And here to tell us more is a family that's been uh, benefited from it, and then a guest that's special at the upcoming event. Say good morning to Shannon and Miss Willow, and then to Josh Turner or TKO, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Thanks for joining us. All right, so let's fill our fill our viewers in on what Waiting to Hear. Is, whomever wants to answer that. Waiting to Hear is an organization that centers around children who have hearing loss or death. They started in 2013 from a family, Shannon and Sherry Ball, mm -hmm. um, who discovered that their daughter, Sarah, had hearing difficulties. Um, they just wanted to make sure that other families didn't have the trouble that they had getting their daughter help, um, that our family had to get my daughter help. Um, they offer a kids camp called Camp Here in the summertime um, where families like ours have benefited from going and meeting other families that have children who are affected by hearing loss. Um, we spend a weekend together doing amazing activities. Um, Shannon and Sherry really made our first camp last summer very special. Mm -hmm. They also do um, a waiting to hear mobile clinic. Um, they have a hearing aid bank that benefits people like my daughter Willow. Um, in that we weren't able to get hearing aids through insurance. Mm -hmm. um, so they have a loaner bank and your child's fitted to a, a hearing aid that will help them. Mm -hmm. They also provide literacy and parenting education on the many things that that are offered to children who are deaf or hearing impaired. And I wanted you to hit on that, that a lot of times, unfortunately, in the case of children, you know, cochlear implants or, or hearing devices are not provided through insurance. It, it's hard to believe. There's, there's different ways to work around it, but it's not as easy as it seems. It is not. We, um, we had private insurance. We thought, you know, they cover braces. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times braces are a vanity thing for, for it's parents. It's not necessarily a need. Yes, um, but they would not cover right. my daughter's hearing It aids. blows my mind. Um, we petitioned, um, we called, we begged, we went to the employer, we went several routes, and there was just, there's a loophole in the law mm -hmm. that if your insurance is self-funded, you are not covered, even though the law states that a child under the age of 18 has a right to hear. Mm -hmm. um, so waiting to hear was an answered prayer for us. It was um, the answer to so many heartbreaking questions of, you know, how are we going to help our daughter? Mm -hmm. Because hearing aids are not cheap. They're not just a couple of thousand dollars. They're, they're not um, necessarily readily available to, right. to everyone. Um, so it's so important what Shannon and Sherry are doing to help families like ours. Willow, how old were you when you got your um, implants? Do you know? Three. Three? So it's been a little bit. How was waiting to hear the camp last year? Did you enjoy camp here? What all did you do? Horseback riding. You went horseback riding? Did you make a lot of good friends? Yeah. Would you go back next year? Do you want to go back? Mm -hmm. Our See, bags are already packed. Already packed. That's just <laughs> one of the great things that this organization provides is those camps, you know, for children to connect and families to connect. Uh, and all of this is done, you know, the loaner bank, the mobile unit is all done through proceeds that are raised through the organization. And it takes events and donations to make that happen. So there's a great event coming up April 13th. It's the FarleyCon Toy and Comic Book Expo. Did I get all that in there right? I believe so. All right, Josh, you tell nailed, me a little bit about it. what's going on. Well, this Saturday over at the Easterich Community Center, FarleyCon, I think it's like in its fourth year, mm -hmm. Rocky's going to slap me because I can't <laughs> remember. Rocky, just don't watch this. So we'll be doing FarleyCon over there, and I hooked up with Waiting to Hear a couple years ago, and we were talked down in Kingsport, actually, mm -hmm. at an event called Conapalooza to bring it here to Chattanooga. And what we decided to do, instead of doing a silent auction, because there's two things taking place at FarleyCon. There is the Pops for Patients. I can lean up as you see there. They're going to have a silent auction taking place mm -hmm. to benefit kids in the hospital, which they collect the Funko Pop figures. They'll mm -hmm. be accepting donations. Then with Waiting to Hear, we're going to do TKO's Not So Silent Auction, which means people is going to buy everything we have, mm -hmm. or I'm going to get extremely loud and throw it at them, <laughs> body slam them, and take their money to help the kids. And Shannon's really went out of his way on this one. 
some of the items he has is just top notch. He's got a signed script from one of the Munchkins from The Wizard of Oz. Oh wow! Um, a signed stuff from musicians such as Rob Zombie, um, different wrestlers like Jake the Snake Roberts, Jesse the Body Ventura, Harry Potter memorabilia, mm -hmm. Daniel Radcliffe, a signed photo of him. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters. So some great collector's items. I mean, you, Star Wars. Right. You wouldn't believe, like, he sends me this list and he's like, here, touch on this. And Shannon, I'm going to call you out, brother. He sends me this list. It's probably this long. And right? it's over 100 <laughs> items. And I'm like, that's fantastic. I don't talk that fast. <laughs> well, that's okay because we want everyone to go to the event, see these items in person, and make your donations. That way, TKO is not tracking you down. We also have a really cool thing that I personally mm -hmm. do. So anybody that wants to show up to FarleyCon and donate a Pop Funko figure to Pops with Patients mm -hmm. to help the kids or wants to make a donation to Waiting to Hear. In return, if you make a donation, you might not get body slammed, but I will also give you a free signed photo from AMC's The Walking Dead where I've worked Perfect. on that show. So okay. anybody that donates, they just come see me. I give them a thing. You'll be, be nice back. to them. I'll be nice. <laughs> All right, so this event is happening April 13th, beginning around 3 p.m., correct? And this is going to be at the East Ridge Community Center. Uh, if you want more information about waiting to hear or the event, you can always contact Shannon Ball. Uh, TKO, tell us where else we can find information on the event. Do you have a Facebook page? Uh, you can check it out at FarleyCon on Facebook, or you can look me up, just actor pro wrestler Josh TKO Turner. Uh, you can look up Pops for Patients, Rocky Spurlock. Perfect. Come out to FarleyCon, have a Farley good time. Is that thing? Do, I like it. We'll make it you, a thing. Now, do you know what you do when you say Farley? What's that? What's the first thing you think of? Chris Farley. Yeah. So, have you ever done this? Because I'm going to take over your show. Have you ever <laughs> well, we're going to have to go to commercial Have you ever break. done the Chris Farley to go to commercial? Do it. You ready? <laughs> we're going. <laughs> he does it better than I do. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thank you.